Welcome to the Human Engineering Research Laboratory's virtual tour. Hello, I'm Rory Cooper. I'm the director of the Human Engineering Research Laboratories. And I would like to share a little bit of what we do and introduce our labs. So Pearl, as we effectively call it, is, uh, is over 25 years old and uh, normal under normal circumstances, about 70 people work here. Many of us now are working remote. Some are working on site and some are doing a hybrid. Uh, and uh, we work primarily on accessing and creating technologies for people with disabilities with a strong focus on our veterans community. The, um, and we are made up with that hurl uh, includes many uh, engineers, uh, physicians, therapists, uh, statisticians, business people, all working together to create a world where our veterans and people with disabilities can fully participate to the maximum extent of their abilities. Uh, we'll show you some of the labs. We have a, a large a clinical laboratory facility where we can do some uh, brain-computer interface work, ultrasound imaging, virtual reality, biomechanics and motion capture, capture um, as well as a smart kitchen living environment where we use robotics and other technologies to uh, create the, to, to measure things and to create uh, technologies that make living more easily for people with disabilities. Our mission is to continuously improve the mobility and function of people with disabilities through advanced engineering in clinical research and medical rehabilitation. Great. Uh... Well, welcome. This is our high bay area space where we have a current system, computer aided yeah. rehab environment system. So, this is our computer engineering rehabilitation environment, also known as Karen. So, the Karen consists of three main components. The first is that big brown stage you see in front of you. Um, so, that stage can operate on nine degrees of freedom. So, what it means is it can go forward, back, side to side, and it can rotate and it can go up and down. Um, and this allows us to recreate the feeling of being on a variety of different trains and services when we put someone on our system. Um, the second component is the screen that you see in front of you. Um, so using a software called Dflow, we're able to project a variety of different virtual environments to our participants. Um, and the stage moves forward, so when you're on it, you really feel like you're immersed in that environment. And the third component is if you look above you, all these cameras, um, so these are motion capture cameras, and what we're able to do with those is we're able to put markers on different parts of the body, um, and they allow us to study how people are moving. So for example, um, if I'm doing a study where I'm looking at gait, I put markers on the legs, and I go back after the fact and analyze how people are moving in different situations. Um, so we use this machine for a variety of different applications. Um, we use it in gait studies, studies involving amputees, um, and the unique thing about this system is you'll notice that the belt is wider um, than a normal treadmill belt. That's so we can accommodate wheelchairs. So we can actually put manual wheelchairs on the system. We can put power wheelchairs on the system. And that allows us to do um, research applications like looking how, at how manual wheelchairs propel their wheelchair. We've done power wheelchair driving studies on here. So it's really a robust system that looks, allows us to look at a variety of different rehab applications as well as you can see some of the various sports wheelchairs that I'm surrounded by that we have been working on and have worked on in the past. And, uh, this allows us to do collection of biomechanical data. We have our queuing kitchen in this space. We have our uh, kitchen robot, kitchen bot. And we can do uh, collection of transfers and other upper extremity devices as well. The Mobility Enhancement Robot Wheelchair, or MEBOT, consists of six height adjustable wheels with a modular drive wheel configuration. MEBOT includes features such as seat leveling to increase the user's stability when driving over uneven terrains and a curb negotiation application to improve accessibility for optimal maneuvering in indoor and outdoor environments. The large center driving wheels can reposition themselves to simulate front, 
mid, or rear wheel driving. The four smaller caster wheels move up and down freely and independently. For climbing curbs, the front caster wheels lift up onto the curb, and then the driving wheels lift themselves up and forward onto the curb, which lifts the chair onto the curb. MiBot also has a unique self-leveling function within the seat mechanism, which keeps the seat straight while driving on steep hills and cross slopes, as well as during curb climbing. We also have a robotics laboratory where we uh, have wheelchair mounted robotic arms and robots to help with transfers and other technologies. This is a gripper for robotic arms developed at Hurl that provides enhanced grasping performance for people with spinal cord injury and disease for daily home and community activities. The in-wheel suspension project aims to reduce the intensity and frequency of whole body vibrations experienced by wheelchair users and to determine if an in-wheel suspension mechanism significantly reduces these vibrations. We have an extensive machine shop where we can build almost anything that somebody can imagine with uh, excellent designers and engineers that use computer-aided design, manufacturing, and other processes to uh, fabricate uh, devices out of metal, plastic, composite materials, and as well as do electronic design from uh, microelectronics and surface-mounted printed circuit boards. Welcome to our uh, machine shop and fabrication space. We use this space to uh, make all kinds of mechanical devices using laser cutting and milling and turning and uh, uh, 3D printing and, and metals and plastics and wood uh, and composites to make uh, anything from uh, automated vehicles to uh, complex robots to uh, 3D printed uh, components for wheelchairs or uh, robotic devices. This is the DMG 5-axis milling machine. It is used for cutting complex geometry and exotic materials like stainless steel and titanium. This is our wire EDM for cutting intricate metal parts. This is our TL2 CNC lathe. Curl uses lathes for fabricating axles and other parts related to the drivetrain of power wheelchairs. Here, the sharp edges of a piece of sheet metal are being removed with a buffing wheel. The CNC brake press and program are used to create a 3D shape from sheet metal. This is a laser PCB etcher, which uses a laser to remove copper to make a printed circuit board. Then, the pick and place machine will place small components on the pads to create a printed circuit board.
We have a testing facility as well where we can destroy wheelchairs and determine where their strengths are and look at other assisted devices such as walking aids, uh, prosthetic limbs, transfer devices, and even uh, robots for, uh, for ergonomics and workstations. So we're a pretty comprehensive facility and with wonderful people and we're looking to uh, include war veterans and people with disabilities on our team and in our research as well as looking for students from around the globe who are dedicated to helping individuals with disabilities and the American veteran community. So I hope you enjoy our tour and get a chance to see a little bit of what we do and when it's safe that you'll come and visit and see what we do in person.